I just want to emphasize that all you have to do is go to CX Team Sports Awards page, click the link underneath the ball that you see there, and just uh, submit a paragraph about what are you doing to drive relationship strength, focusing on maximizing cumulative profitability. Now, we're not looking for uh, conquering the mountain at this point. This is the first year. So anything that you've been doing in the past year or so to uh, stimulate lifetime value mindset anywhere in your, your enterprise is a good example that we want to highlight and encourage more organizations of all types around the world to be adopting a lifetime value mindset. And then, of course, I'll be suggesting uh, ways to, to keep raising the bar and ways to keep on uh, progressing in that path. Secondly, for customer-centered action, CX data and metrics inspire resolution of CX issue root causes. Whatever you've been doing in that area this past year, please submit it to the CX Team Sports Awards. The third one, Enterprise Use of Insights, is uh, wherever you have been influencing people to base their growth activities on and re-engineering on customer experience insights. So if you have influenced any organization, any group, uh, any executive to uh, use customer experience insights toward this, that's a good example to submit to the Team Sports Awards. Align Motivations is where you're influencing people to have a dedication to shared agendas, shared vision, and shared uh, values, especially around the, the customer in your organization. How are we um, getting on the same page with regard to getting and keeping customers? And uh, remember that the, the second row is actually a prerequisite to the top row, right? Ease of doing the uh, ease of work is a prerequisite to ease of doing business. So the entries that show aligned motivations within the context of the top row, you know, setting the stage, laying the foundation for lifetime value mindset, uh, for customer-centered action and enterprise use of insights, they're, you're really on the right path and a, a strong candidate if you, if you can uh, demonstrate that. Fifth, we have respecting interdependencies. So please submit examples of where you are creating awareness and inclusion of groups who rely on one another, especially as it pertains to lifetime value mindset, customer-centered action, and enterprise use of insights. And third, excuse me, sixth, uh, consistency to intentions means that you're saying what you do, you're doing what you say, and you're giving a heads up when there are changes. And specifically, we're looking for examples of this in regard to managing the customer experience, whatever you're doing to set expectations appropriately with customers and, um, and also deliver on those expectations for that one-to-one -one ratio. I hope that you uh, have some new inspiration and motivation and clarity on the CX Team Sports Awards. And I really welcome you to submit any questions you have to me. Uh, you can do it on the, the website or LinkedIn. These are some examples from a recent article about um, six memes or spirit animals uh, for what we need for CX as a team sport. So if you go to that article at author slash uh, at customerthink.com, you'll find a uh, examples of, of things that you could be doing toward, in this case, uh, increasing trust through aligned motivation. So it's getting people on the same page. Um, these are just the tip of the iceberg and they're the type of thing that you'll find in our experience value exchange is we created a whole resource, a community where people submit and uh, create um, educational content with uh, templates, events, uh, conversations, uh, presentations, course, small snippets of, uh, of training or um, articles, any number of things, podcasts and videos are in the Experience Value Exchange as a way for your whole organization 
to learn CX as a team sport. So basically driving or influencing those six competencies to come to life and to become uh, massive strengths in your organization. Finally, in the, the uh, value exchange, you'll find that you can earn badges toward each of these six competencies. And as I mentioned, uh, people are, are contributing thing, thing, things to this. Um, this is an example of our newsletter. You can see all types of uh, resources uh, submitted by different people um, around ease of business and ease of uh, work. When you log into the value exchange, just a quick <clears throat> peek, you'll find that you have a, a customized home page with uh, resources tailored to you. Um, this is based on a, a questionnaire that you fill out when you first log in, and you can always change it in terms of what are your goals, what are your pressures, what are your, uh, your situation in terms of uh, your level in the organization. So from college, new college grad to uh, chief officer, there's something for everyone, a lot for everyone. And uh, whether you've been in your role for a long time or a short time, whether you're in marketing, employee experience, partner experience, uh, customer experience, customer success, or customer service, there are resources tailored to you on your home page. And so you can see the left side of the screen showing the points that are being earned um, as they go through the value exchange on the ease of doing business and um, on the right hand side, ease of work. And then the two, the two uh, areas on the left are actually about organizational agility. The two in the middle are about organiz uh, organizational alignment, both externally and internally. And the two on the right are about accountability. How do we really have a culture of accountability, alignment, and agility? All key factors of awesome teams, uh, teams in team sports. But thank you for joining me. Uh, we have a demo of the value exchange every week. So uh, sign up for a demo or just join. It's, it's really easy, super affordable, and something that you want to have your whole department learning together as members in this uh, this educational community. So I look forward to your entries in the CX Team Sports Awards and announcing the winners on Tuesday, 